Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Designers, in this brief tutorial we are ensuring that your Webflow masterpiece shines on every device. Join me for a quick tips on how to optimize your Webflow website for mobile in 2024. Ready to make your designs responsive? Let's get started. So before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys. In this specific video, we need a couple of things. First thing is a Webflow account. So simply go ahead and open your Webflow account and open one of your websites. Of course, the best website that you can make is a website that's optimized with both mobile and PC. So today we are going to learn how to do so. So here, when you try to create a website, always try to focus on the design of it. So when you are trying to focus on the design, you are only looking at the design that will be normally showing on your desktop. So this is the design, for example, let's go for example for one of my websites here. So open designer. And here, once I am going to open the designer, I am not really going to see the website as it would really be on mobile phone so here as you can see yep it does look pretty good it is nice looking nothing wrong with it but in general it is not the thing uh, am I ex like expecting to see the same things like five picture in my mobile phone like even my big screen is not fitting these five pictures how are they going to be fit in one mobile phone so here it is how you can basically change it and optimize it to be with your mobile phone. The first thing is to just simply check. You can simply check if it is good or mobile. How to do so? Well, normally people would be like click on F12 and you can click right here and choose the device mode and choose the device. For example, I want it to be iPhone 12 Pro. But here's the thing, when you're trying to do so, you are actually not looking at your website, but rather you are actually looking at the whole page builder. So what we should do now is to simply work on this uh, site as is it found without this page builder. So you either have to share it, which is in our case since we have free version we can't, or use this method that I'm going to show you. So here, once you open the page builder, you will find this menu which is on the top. Ignore the left one and the right one. Just go to the top here. You'll find how many pixels and you will find here devices and how many pixels per each device. Here, for example, there is the monitor. Here, there is a laptop. And here there is a tablet, here there is mobile landscape, and here mobile portraits. So here it is, and this is how it's gonna look on your mobile. So this is how you can see if your website is actually optimized for the mobile that you are using. So here we can make it as small as possible. Let me just go back to the mobile form. So let's say for example, this is how your mobile is this is the size of your mobile and basically you can simply start working on each section uh, as it is like as you if you are looking from mobile now you might ask me for example what if I move something right here is it gonna be moving in the uh, like let's say for example in the, the desktop mode well let's try it out here we go I'm going to move this right here and now we have 7K, 5K, 8K, and 3K. So let's go to the device mode and see. And as you can see, yep, it does affect it. So the thing is, you can't really make something without affecting the other. So this is something that you really can't do. Uh, even like here, if you want to try to get the premium version, so let me just click here, uh, publish, and let's wait a little bit. All right, it is published here. Let's go ahead and try to add a custom domain or something like that, and then we will be able to actually get the premium version. So here we have these versions, and in these versions, there is the feature. So here we have key features. If we try to find something that has anything with the mobile, 
so here it is go there is nothing that says mobile optimization so the only thing that is some similar to mobile optimization uh, doesn't really exist here so what you will have to do is to simply while working on your templates try to not choose one of their free templates so here if I went to the dashboard and try to create a new website don't try to go for a new site with an empty template like these ones try to get a template which is ready to be used free of course but yet ready to be used why because the templates are by default uh, optimized for mobile phone even if you try to move one thing it's gonna mess up the whole design so always try to go for simple designs that they have do not go for scratch or like blank sites because you by yourself making a brand new like a website or template it is a high risk you might end it up by having a really like standing out template a good design good choice of colors everything was good on it but when it comes to turning on the mobile and you can try to see it as a mobile well yeah it will be something messy like that even though they are the ones who made it still it feels really messy it doesn't feel like it is something that should be in my device it should be like for example one here like a whole widget of number one that should be at the top um, and then two must be at the bottom three four uh, the same thing these two are perfectly done these as well are perfectly done and here we have pictures so these pictures are pretty good I'm not gonna lie but the only problem with this template for example uh, is this section so you have to keep going on and off and checking if this this is really working out for you so as for me I really don't like this design I really don't want it to be like that so what I might just do is to remove for example number one and here I'm gonna replace this with one and this with two and this for example with three and look at the end up design it's going to be something like that so let me just go to the landscape so here we have one two three um we can see as mobile this is a hundred percent better so it's here we have one here two three um so yeah you have to keep going forward and backward and there is no correct way to actually optimize your workflow site with a mobile without having a hard work of changing steps and moving things and adjusting things so they can look both good on your PC and mobile otherwise you have to, at some point to mess something up and one device will stand out more than the other so you can check your traffic know which device comes to your website the most and try to optimize the look of that device more than the other so yeah, guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial Bye bye